Hi guys, just wanted to jump on here and talk to you guys a little bit. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about sacrifice and how, how it changes things in a walk for a Christian. Sacrifice does a number of things, guys. Well, let me tell you. Sometimes sacrifice opens doors. Sacrifice opens your eyes more. Sacrifice gets you closer to God because you're sacrificing yourself. You're sacrificing things that you love or that you used to do for God. So many ways that you can sacrifice. Fasting. Um, fasting's a big one. Um, sacrifice not eating for a while. Um, <clears throat> or staying away from things that please you um, for a period of time. And uh, having this commitment with God in prayer. And, and having some time with God. Some private time. Some intimate time with the Lord. And really reflecting on your relationship. And getting closer to the Father. And it can really, really help your growth and growing with the Lord. And um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about of how much it helped me, um, especially fasting. I fast um, quite a bit. Um, I try to keep it at a decent level, like once a week is, is good, but fasting definitely opens doors. For some of us, we get certain gifts. and. Um, me when I fast and I you know not right away but when you start fasting some people not everybody but I get dreams and my dreams are actually very vivid and and it's like God speaking to me in the dreams so sometimes when you fast that is a way that God will speak to some people not everybody so I'm speaking for myself but I just felt like sharing with you guys some people get dreams and that's the way that God speaks to me and I love it. It's amazing. I, I I love fasting because I know I'm sacrificing something. Um, I mean, fasting's not really for... You're not doing it for God. You're doing it for yourself, for your growth, actually. It's not... God, um, he wants you to fast, yeah, so you can get closer to him. But it's really a sacrifice that you're making. You're making a commitment to God that you want to get closer to him and grow with him. It's more about your growth process and some people get dreams I get dreams some people get other things um, that happen to them but I thought I'd share that um, it's an amazing thing that that God has given me and I feel very blessed that I can dream um, I don't know if you guys get dreams some some people get dreams when they fast but if you do leave a comment I want to hear if you get dreams if God speaks to you in dreams um, it's, it's, I mean, I've always dreamed, but nothing like this. And that's how you know, too. Especially if you're going to fast. You get dreams like crazy. If you have a similar, similar um, gift as I have. Um, but that's, that's, a, that's a whole other level. But there's other ways to sacrifice, too. You know what I mean? Um, something that you enjoy, you, you give up because you know that, like, idols. Get rid of idols don't carry idols I mean it's even in the Bible Bible about idols though don't have saints and in things that you worship if you worship things like you can worship things you can even worship people sacrifice things by getting rid of things get rid of things that are unhealthy for your walk in your in your communication with God and your in you know that God doesn't like when you start reading this Bible you're gonna learn a lot about things that God does not like and um, start making sacrifices for the Lord and uh, to help yourself grow as well. And he wants you to grow and he wants to speak to you and he wants your eyes to open more and more. But sometimes we have to make sacrifices. We can't be living in the world and, and, and following God. We can't have one foot in and one foot out. We can't be lukewarm. We cannot be lukewarm with the Lord. The Lord, rather you hot or cold. I just learned that in church too. Hot or cold, lukewarm, he's just gonna spit you out, hallelujah. And I don't say that to scare you, but you can't play with the Lord. You can't be in the world and be in the Lord. You can't be in the world when I say in the world. You can't be worldly. You can't think like the world anymore. Because when you get baptized and you change, you become a new creation. You become new. And all things are going to be about the Lord. You're going to walk with Jesus Christ. You're going to experience things that Christians experience and the world is just going to take you away you can't you shouldn't be listening to worldly music things like that 
make sacrifices for the Lord because there's some things that come in our ears and we'll speak it. And, you know, you shouldn't be listening to music with swears, um, cursing, because whatever you're hearing, you know, you might speak. And that's just going to defile you. Whatever you're watching, if you're going to watch violence, you're going to watch something that's terrible and, and you have the Holy Spirit in you, why are you watching that? You know, don't watch it. It's just going to, it's going to be bad for your eyes and you're going to be seeing these things and then you'll start getting the thoughts that are, that's going to haunt you, that are not healthy for you. And there's lots of things that I can talk about, but guys, let me know what you want me to talk about next. I just felt like sharing a little bit, talking a little bit about what, um, sacrifices you can do or that I do or things like that but I hope you guys have a good rest of the day God bless you and may the Lord be with you in in, in uh, today tomorrow and forever amen God bless you guys God bless <laughs>